Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to League 2 Predictions. A few results on the weekend didn't quite go the the way the odds looked. Um, you know, a few uh, results against the odds. A few results didn't go the way that everyone was thinking. Um, but guys, you know what I do, so guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game I want to talk about is Crawley versus Cheltenham Town. Crawley, Cheltenham Town, let's start off with Cheltenham. 2-2 um, two -two with Swindon at home. Cheltenham seem to be one of them teams that are really, you know, meant to perform at home. But 2-2 two -two against Swindon. You know, it's a different story. Um, Crawley, on the other hand, won 3-2 against and at Lake Norian. Um, 3-2 winners over that one. Crawley, you know, having a disappointment a week before um, going to Lake Norian. I think that's what the result was needed for Crawley to pick themselves back up. But for this one, I've gone for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Crew Alexander versus Bradford. Bradford losing one 0 at home to Forest Green. Crew Alexander losing one 0 at Newport. Um, as I said, Newport seems to be a very dangerous team at home. Uh, as I said in last week's predictions. Um, but let's go to the Bradford game and talk about this one from the Bradford point of view. Bradford seem to, what I've been hearing and what, what I've been told and stuff like that, they seem to be one of them teams pushing for promotion. If Bradford going to push for promotion, teams like Forest Green at home, they do need to be beaten. Um, but was it a, you know, a situation of, we're going to win this game from the outset and your mindset to that and Forest Green, you know, turned up and obviously turned you over. Um, but 1-0 at home to Bradford, uh, at home to Forest Green, sorry. Um, you know, it seems to be one of them really gets you moments if you're a Bradford fan. If you're a Bradford fan, please tell me how you feel and... Was that the right result, or do you think you deserve more? But I've been on this game enough, so I've gone for a 2-1 Crew Alexander win. Um, Crew Alexander playing at home, I've just expected a bit more from Crew. My next one is Exeter versus Mansfield. Exeter, 3-2 winners at Morecambe. Mansfield, 0-0 at home to Stevenage. Now, yet again, Mansfield... Seem to be one of them teams that want to, you know, start pushing, maybe high up the table. Um, now, now at home to Stevenage. Now, if I was a Mansfield fan, that probably be, I'd probably be a bit annoyed about that. Yet again, if you're a Mansfield fan, if you're a fan of any kind, please feel free to put your questions down below. Um, or comments, I should say. Um, Exeter... Let's go to that game and speak about it from an Exeter point of view. Um, Exeter 3-2 away win at Morecambe. Probably was expected, but you can never actually take a three points for granted. Just look at that breath of result. Um, but for this one, I've gone for a 3-0 Exeter win. My next one is Forest Green versus Newport. Forest Green spoke about um, beating Bradford uh, away away from home one 0 Newport spoke about them a bit as well. They played Crew, winning at home against Crew one 0 Um, where do you? Consider I've already spoke about both from basically both points of view. I'm just going to give you the result for this one. I went for a two two scoreline for that one. My next one is Northampton Town versus Plymouth. Northampton Town losing 1-0 at Colchester. Plymouth beating Walsall 3-0 at Plymouth. Um, 
where do you go? Let's go to the Northampton Town game. We weren't expecting much, I don't personally think. A 1 0 result, I call that fair. Um, Plymouth, on the other hand, 3 0 at home to Walsall, probably was expected. Um, but yet yeah, again, I'm just going to give you the result. I've gone for 3 1 Plymouth win for that one. The next one is Oldham Athletic versus Colchester. Oldham Athletic, 2-1 winners at Cambridge. Colchester, 1-0 over Northampton Town. Consider I've got Cambridge coming up next. I'm just going to give you the result. Um, I've gone for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Port Vale versus Cambridge. Now, I've already just said about Cambridge, so let's go to that game. Um, Cambridge... Losing 2 1 at home probably was expected. Um, but if you're a Cambridge fan, please feel free to put your comments down below. Um, were you expecting that? Or are you happy with that? Or are you annoyed about that? Um, you know, feel free to let me know. Um, Port Vale 5 2 losers at Grimsby. Goal machine at that game. Absolute goal machine. 5 2 away to Grimsby. Probably weren't expecting that many goals, but 5 2, 7 goals, you know, fair play to both teams. Um, but for that one, I've gone for a 1 all scoreline for that one. My next one is Salford City versus Lake Norian. Uh, Salford City 2 2 at Carlisle. Um, Lake Norian beating called, uh, losing to Cordy 3 1. Um, let's go to the Salford game, speak about from the Salford's perspective. 2-2 two, two for a newly lead two team away at Carlisle ain't a bad result as far as I'm concerned. You know, as far as a Carlisle fan, which I'll go get on to next. Uh, you know, I'll be expecting a bit more, but I'll talk about that literally in a minute. Um, Lake Norian, 3-2 losers at home to Crawley. Now, Lake Norian fans, if you're at home to Crawley and Crawley did have a bad week, they had week before this, were you expecting a three points a point or, you know, were you just expecting a defeat? Um, please feel free to put your comments down below. Um, but for this one, I've gone for a 3 1 Lake Norian win. Um, I'm just expecting Lake Norman to turn up a bit, a lot more than what Salford are expecting. My next one is Scunthorpe versus Carlisle. Carlisle 2-2 two, two against Salford, I'll get into that in a minute. Scunthorpe losing 1-0 to Man uh, Macclesfield. Um, where do you go for that? Um, you know, Scunthorpe away from home, probably expected. If, now, this one I want to say about Carlisle. If I was a Carlisle fan, I'd probably be a bit annoyed that we didn't get the three points um, against a newly promoted side. But for this one, I've gone for a nil-nil scoreline for that one. My next one is Stevenage versus Macclesfield. Just literally spoke about Macclesfield. One nil winners at at home to Scunthorpe, probably a little bit more expected. Stevenage nil nil at Mansfield. Spoke about that a bit. I ain't gonna speak about that. Um, but I'm gonna go to that Macclesfield result. Macclesfield fans, were you expecting a bit more than that one nil? Just as always, put your comments down below. Um, but for this one, I've gone for a two nil Macclesfield win. My next one is Swindon Town versus Morecambe. Swindon Town 2 2 at Cheltenham. Morecambe losing 3 2 at home to Exeter. Morecambe probably expect a little bit more from there. Swindon Town way to Cheltenham. Probably a good result all round. Um, but you know, uh, were you expecting anything more? Um, 
But for this one, I've gone for a 2-1 Swindon Town win. My next one and my last one for this weekend is Walsall versus Grimsby. Walsall losing 3 0 to Plymouth Argyle. Grimsby 5 2 winners over Port Vale. Uh, Grimsby Town fans have got to be absolutely happy with that result. Um, but I ain't going to beat around the bush with this. I'm just going to give you this result. Um, I've gone for a 2 1 Grimsby win. But guys, that's the end of my. The two predictions for this week, guys. You know what to do with the video. Big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.